On the WNWO Street Beat, Toledo police still have not named any suspects in a string of shootings that left two people dead. The gun violence all began at 9 p.m. on Tuesday when 24-year-old Dustin Matney was shot and injured on Colburn Street in South Toledo. Now, that was just the beginning, but when it was all said and done, eight more people were shot, two of them killed. Now, Toledo police say that they are saturating the neighborhoods where the shootings took place, adding patrols, but residents that we talked to aren't so sure that that's actually going to stop the violence. What police and residents do agree on is that the recent shootings are associated with gang activity. Take a look. Streets of Toledo the last 24 hours are in stark contrast to the day before. We did have nine people shot. Uh, in, uh, I believe, six different incidents. With two dead, Debbie Dusso says she's not the only one in her neighborhood now afraid to let her own grandson play outside. I'm 61 years old. I had to sit out here with him to make sure, you know, that ain't nobody going to come around here and, and harm him. A fear that's keeping people in this North Toledo neighborhood indoors and from talking to us on camera. Regardless of whether y'all put a thousand more police out here or if you don't, it's still going to be some killing going on. It's still going to be a lot of gang violence. Toledo police are stepping up patrols in the wake of this week's shooting, focusing on nighttime surveillance and want to assure the public that not everyone is in danger. So for the normal person, citizen in Toledo, Ohio, isn't a member of a gang, isn't uh, involved in criminal activity, uh, you're safe. Words that are of little comfort to those that actually live on the streets where the recent violence took place. I don't feel like, you know, the police is really, you know, doing anything about it. My daughter, she owns this house right here. She's even moving because of all the crime that's in the neighborhood. It's something some parents even wonder if they'll be able to change in time for their own children. I have two kids myself and they boys. So I'm more, I'm more worried about that, that what they going to be like. Now, Toledo police say the recent rash of violence is something that's hard to predict, but they want people to report it because they say in order for the violence to stop, they need tips so that authorities can solve the crimes and also know where to deploy their resources.